is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. All right, let's start. <clears throat> your overall energy here. What I see is that there is some kind of fear that is standing in the way of your career. All right, you may have everything that you need in order to find success. Okay. But you don't have that dose of confidence and belief in yourself. You're popping out. You're not being able to make those big, bold moves right now, okay? You're not being brave enough. You're being a coward right now. You're probably even constantly second-guessing yourself and letting anxiety and self-doubt take control. You know, you're not being able to tame your situation. You're letting the, the situation tame you, okay? You need to take control and uh, this is probably the anxiety and setup is what probably is what is preventing you from making the choices that can propel your career forward. Okay, that can make you move forward. If you actually look at the strength card, the strength card is it's basically you are capable more than you actually believe you are. Okay, you are, but it's you yourself who's again second guessing the self talking yourself down okay that i don't think i can make this happen okay you are not trusting your own abilities okay that's why people are not trusting you in return the vibe that you put out is the vibe that you get right i feel right now you're at this point where either you have uh, or you will okay you're going to reach this you want this success you have a lot of self confidence in you okay you probably have reached that um, achievement at work Okay, you've come to a particular point in your career where you're very, very proud of yourself. You could even be getting a lot of rewards, okay, that are likely to come in your way, which can be in the form of a promotion, a raise, you know, anything, okay, that is forthcoming. If you've recently completed a project, I feel you're going to get good results. <clears throat> are there any other battles that you've fought, okay? I think that things are going to be resolved in your favor. The only thing you need to do is you need to contain this moment. You need to savor this moment, okay, of contentment and confidence. Don't let this six of wands energy get to your head, okay, because sometimes this assuredness, okay, can turn into egoism, okay, overinflated egos, arrogance, etc., okay. You can celebrate, you know, this confidence and this achievement that you have, okay, moving forward. You probably even want to move forward and go into something in a higher level. Maybe you are uh, in the public eye right now, okay. You're enjoying your current position here. But just see to it, the Six of Wands, there's a very thin line in, in being uh, self-confident and in being egoistic, okay. So just see that you don't cross that line here. I feel you have a lot of passion right now, okay? You're probably likely in that time of that high growth of your career right now, okay? It's almost like a moment in which your preparation is meeting your opportunities, okay? So I'm getting, you know what? I'm getting here. Okay, let me finish, but uh, you probably even find work is being more inspired, okay? You're finding work is particularly inspired right now and you can push past all, any old boundaries, okay? And see the potential in all the experiences, this is a very good moment if you need to confront any issues, okay, that have stopped your progress or stalled your progress in the past year. Because right now, you seem to be in a more better position to confront them. Your creativity, problem-solving skills, etc., everything's at a high right now, okay? You have all the energy that you need, which you need to put in uh, to the best of your abilities. So, yeah, what I was saying is that with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands, you have everything that it takes to move forward, okay? Again, but the only thing is that here you're not making that brave move. You don't like that strength, that inner strength. I get, like, yeah, I can tame the situation. Look at this woman here. She's literally taming the liner, the blind her, you know? This is that confidence, you know? That's something you're not. That's a lot of self doubt, okay? There's, that's almost like a self doubt syndrome. Someone who's almost tired of dealing with the situation or giving up too fast. Okay? So, yeah, you have a lot of good stuff coming in for you with that energy, with that enthusiasm, okay? You got that kick. But the thing is that, are you ready to make it happen? That's something that you need to ask yourself. <clears throat> When your blockages, I feel that you, if you have dealt with any failures lately or in the past, okay, it could have probably been because you thought put in too much effort. This is you desiring success desperately. But when it comes to putting the real work, you're probably not ready to actually work for it. On the other hand, it could even mean that you have, you may have worked so hard that everything else has fallen by the side. 
okay and you're very very focused and you're reaching that burnout okay you're putting yourself through a lot of stress overworking yourself is what i'm saying okay i mean time passes quite quickly right and before you even know it everything can change so take some time to review your finances if you have a business just make, make sure that you have people around you that are trustworthy okay take some time out to check your legal documents but yeah this is also overworking or this is not working at all so yeah you can be in whichever side you want sometimes it can also reach to someone who has everything that they need they have the money they have that independence but something or the other gives them that codependent energy okay insecurity clingy neediness this could also be you who's overspending is what i'm getting okay maybe you're overspending also maybe you're trying to uh, you're not saving and you're uh, spending more than you're earning okay so yeah be careful about that <clears throat> things could be changing really really quickly okay at work and you're probably what i'm feeling why the wheel of fortune is that a blockage here it's because you probably are finding it very difficult to keep up at the moment okay probably there are things that are surprising you and it almost feels like you know things are disruptive to your plan something's moving in your favor but you don't see it happening there's something that probably there are some delays or something's just not happening the way you wanted it to again the universe something is very destined and fated it's definitely uh, literally i'm getting like pushing you you know it's pushing you towards something more better could be within this job could be wanting a new job could be towards a new job okay but you feel this is disrupting your plans here okay you may keep trying to make a past solution work you know instead of flowing going with the flow okay alongside with the events that are unfolding right now so yeah i'm getting someone who's trying to pull you you're trying to push yourself against the current you're not letting something run its course okay which is again causing a lot of frustration and anger within your situation so it's important not to cling to the past okay you're clinging on to the past all your expectations from the past which is making you remain very inflexible and you're not ready to change your plans okay you're going to have to be very adaptive with the wheel of fortune here things are the wheels going to start hopping it's going to be up to you whether you want to hop on or not okay maybe your responsibilities are changing at work or um maybe your project requirements keep updating anything okay this can be very frustrating but i'm getting here instead of fighting it and trying to figure out your own process you know uh you're getting more angry and something's just it's like literally like how do i say this you're trying to stop this entire process from running its course okay this is the wheel of fortune this is something that is that is done by the universe the more you try to fight this the more difficult life is going to get instead if you're going to be a little more adaptable you're going to let the plans flow if you're going to go with the flow and accept what it is understand that some if things are in your control good you know you take responsibility for it and if something's not in your control you accept it and just go with it okay this is a lot of exercising trying to exercise a lot of self control here okay just make sure you find your center okay when it comes to your finances or when it comes to your career right i also see there is someone here who either who is holding a grudge against you or you are holding a grudge against them this is someone who's overly critical okay a very overly critical person okay someone who uses their words and their intellect this is a very intelligent person okay but they literally use their words and intellect to create a lot of suffering okay so check out for someone around you okay who is like this could be an aquarius libra gemini around you but this is someone who can be harsh and someone who's just like downright cruel okay when they express themselves So yeah, if this is you, you might want to learn how to communicate better because whatever you're trying to communicate, you're not being able to put your point through. Okay, the other person is not being able to get your point. You're not being able to put your point across if you're trying to explain to someone your point. Okay, maybe you're giving someone an ultimatum. Maybe you've just had it. You're you're fed up and sick and tired of the kind of with the work environment or at where you really are at. Okay, but again, this is being very harsh. You can't say what you want. you can be very logical about it this is someone logical this is someone who deals with facts but you need to leave the harsh part out you need to be honest this is someone you know it's like literally you can be honest okay but you need to care for the other person's feelings too okay just don't be too harsh this is very cruel this is like someone really bitchy around you you can address your concerns about a project but don't blame someone could be someone who's calling the blame game someone who's constantly holding on to the past about what happened in the past and trying to you know use it as like a whip, you know like um a whiplash you know trying to whip someone again and again with whatever past experiences you had 
Okay, so don't do that. Just if you calm down and think more positively, okay, because this is someone again being very, very negative, very negative, okay, not that is constructive criticism if you understand what I'm saying. This is not, this is destructive, this is trying to destroy someone. When this card comes in to me, this is more of like you're more reacting, you're not responding, you're reacting, okay, so this is you reacting to the situation, reacting to the person you know, being criticizing the person rather than responding, okay, to the situation uh, or um, whatever. This is more towards a person rather than a situation, in short, there. So, yeah, that's another blockage. So, you need to take care of someone around you like this, your boss, colleague, manager, or this, if this is you, cut it out. This is lack of communication skills overall. What's in store for you and then immediate future in the near future is that I feel that, again, you're going to land up having a lot of conflicts between your colleagues or your business partner or your boss. You're probably not being able to discuss or have long decisions and you guys are not being able to agree to a decision. Okay, You guys are not being able to come to the same page and both of you are not being able to accept or come together in, uh, to a solution. Okay, There's like, I, I don't see a win-win solution in the near future here. Okay. <clears throat> this is a lot of disconnection. This is, you know, your goals are different. Absolutely different. Maybe you'll start it off as wanting the same goals and aspirations towards the company, towards the business, towards the job. But now I feel like the goals are getting diverted. Okay. One person wants something else, the other person wants something completely different. So yeah, I do see a split here. There may even be one person, you know, who's doing all the work here or has to carry their other teammate, you know, who has lost all their motivation. Okay. So yeah, this could be you, this could be the other person, okay. But yeah, both colleagues may be dragged down because of one person's inability to put in that fair share of work. Like I said, right? One person could be over invested, which is not fair to the uh, which is not fair. Again, could be a romantic relationship that has started in workplace, but again, I, I'm not getting that so much here. Okay, it could spell trouble for you, so be careful about that. There are likely to be consequences uh, that you don't foresee. Okay, should you continue down this path? If you have an affair, okay, so just be very careful about that. But yeah, this is definitely two people not on the same page. Maybe one person feels they're putting in too much work, and the other person isn't. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. All right. I think your work has also become very, very stale, or it is going to be in the near future. Your progress is going to be stalled. You're probably going to be very, very feeling so frustrated, and you know the atmosphere is going to be so stifling. Okay, you're going to be. I'm, I'm getting you literally going to be in a process of searching for a more exciting position or uh, wanting a new career path. I think you're going to have the desire in the near future to leave the security and comfort of your current position, of your current job and career. Or alternat alternatively, I'm also getting that you may be choosing to remain in the comfort of your current position because you want to avoid the risks of searching elsewhere. Probably this is giving you stability. It's not making you happy. You don't see a future here, but still it's keeping you stable, right? I mean, there's at least something coming in that's paying your bills, right? It's paying the rent. So you're choosing to stay here, even though there's a disconnection here. Or there is a disconnection and you're definitely wanting to look elsewhere and wanting to be on your own. You're ready to go on your own. This is an important lesson that needs to be learned, you know. There could be a negative pattern. The negative cat pattern could be something that you've been following all throughout your past workplaces. Regardless of where you go. It's your own behavior that can recreate the same problems again, okay, if it is not dealt with. Either you are, again, <clears throat> so when the Six of Cups come in, reverse comes in, right? This is somewhere where you need to learn your lessons, you're not doing it. Following the same pattern over and over and over again, okay? Not learning from your mistakes, not learning from your lessons. You've probably been doing this in every job you know, or any career or any new business. And this pattern has been there often a very long time, okay? Staying in a place where you're not happy, but still staying there only because of not taking a risk, okay? So yeah, that is the negative pattern that I'm seeing here, okay? See, there's this disconnection here. You guys are not even on the same page, but you're probably choosing to stay here. However, uh, I see in the near future, you're going to, I mean, um, I, I feel you're going to be uh, taking on too many projects, Okay. You're probably going to be saying yes to your boss every time they ask you to do something, even if you don't have the time, okay? 
deadlines on the head and the pressure is going to be very ever increasing. Your work life is going to be creating a little bit of considerable stress for you. So yeah, you better be standing up for yourself, ask for help, renegotiate deadlines, try to prioritize your work, okay? Because if you're not careful, things are going to be falling through the cracks, okay? Something's going to create more trouble for you. Just need to understand you're only human, okay? And the faster your boss or your colleagues understand this, the better it is going to be for everyone. So don't overcommit is what I'm getting here. You could be overcommitting only because of the reason you see that you're not getting along, but the only reason you're overcommitting, you're wanting to do things is because you probably either you're looking for a job and you're not getting something that you like or you're just not sure because it's a big risk for you. If you leave this job, which is giving you stability, stability in the terms of money, at least something's coming in, okay? Something better than nothing kind of attitude. You're going to land up in a lot of trouble. People are probably going to uh, give you a lot of work and you're going to be overburdened and that's going to create like a complete imbalance in your work life. Yeah. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.